A zillion years ago, I spent my quiet time cake decorating after work and for special occasions. Did that for years and years and years. And I wanted something that I could do that was entertaining. And so I was watching those Bob Ross television programs and said to my husband one day, I bet I could do that. I have been teaching for close to 14 years now, painting for about 23. I think everybody should be able to paint. That's the bottom line. The issue at, in my mind is, is to convince people that you don't have to have the talent, you have to have the knowledge. And the practice will get you where you want to go. I've been developed into an award-winning artist, so I've won several awards locally. And right now I've got a piece in the Baltimore Watercolor Society, so I'm quite proud of my accomplishments. So the sepia went down and has to be dry before you do anything. And it was a and In the first class, one of the first things I say to him is that this is not brain surgery. It's a piece of paper. You can't hurt anybody. If we throw it away, it's no big deal. We just get another piece and start over again. I guess it's always a confidence builder. You know, you really start to do these things and you go and believe that you can really start calling yourself an artist, which is something I never truly believed I could do before. You know, there are times when you're learning something new that you really struggle to get it right. But all of a sudden, it's like these little switches turn on, you know, and you're there. I've actually gotten into a jewelry show, which uh, I never thought would happen. I really did this as a hobby. Never expected to have paintings that would be deemed acceptable to go into a museum show. I hope they walk away with the enjoyment that they should be getting out of it, that it's not, it eventually no longer is work. It's just sheer pleasure. I just think it's the best job possible. I can't think of anything that, that would give me more satisfaction than to hand this to other people. And it wasn't until I retired and finally started doing art that I found something that not only I could do, but that gave me a great deal of inner enjoyment. And I do get lost in it. And that to me is a wonderful experience. If you've enjoyed this, you know, let your PBS station know. That's the only way we know what you like. Let us hear from you once in a while. So on behalf of all of us here at this station, we'd like to wish you happy painting, and we're looking forward to seeing you again next week. Until then, have a super day.